this is kind of like the easy button not to, you know, maybe you don't have too much of a um, complicated type tracking strategy, whatever. You're using Google Ads, Google Analytics, that kind of thing. Um, we just, you know, you shared that post, you can go in it, but we just utilize kind of a fairly easy um, setup in with, with feed rules where all you go in, all you do is you go into feed rules in Google Merchant Center and append um, to your link just uh, you, you new UTM params. Um, and, and we, we like to name ours Google and then slash surfaces. So Google source and then surfaces as medium. My, uh, my, my thought there and semi argument is that it's not, it's not really CPC. I mean, it's not CPC, it's not paid, but also to be honest, I don't know if it's really truly fairly organic because there's a lot of it that's being fed by Google Merchant Center. There's stuff that you can tweak in Google Merchant Center. That's not really, you know, part of, of organic stuff. So at, at least for now, you know, maybe an SEO around here is going to get really angry at me and that's fair. At least for now, we're calling our Google slash surfaces. Um, and then that gives us insight into seeing, you know, how much of that traffic. The one thing I'll note that's that's actually kind of important is you do in your Google Analytics settings need to make sure that you're not allowing um, your UTM parameters to override Google's auto tagging. Otherwise, um, then it, when when they do click through, even on shopping ads, it'll come through as Google services traffic and you don't want to do that. So basically you're using auto tagging for Google ads, shopping ads to be, you know, to, to be segmented correctly. And then if it comes through on, on the services click, it's not through Google CPC, then your parameters will override it and it'll come through as Google services, so. Yeah, and, and to just back up a little bit, so Google, um, Services across Google encompasses now the free listings on shopping, and that's the shopping tab, and it's also the um, the shopping hub that's live in the U.S. and France. That's uh, Google.com slash shopping or shopping.google.com. <laughs> you can access it either um, both ways. And then Google Images and uh, some Google Search and Lens as well, right, so, um, so that is, that's also another, this issue of we've got this, uh, the blending of Google properties and uh, losing the ability to track individual channels and properties, and so this is another case of that where mm -hmm. we've got this amalgamation of <laughs> traffic sources, and there's no way, even with the traffic, you know, we, Kirk's great example, but, um, it's it's something, but it's not as detailed as some of us would would like. Um, but Mike, did you want to uh, um, talk about tracking as well? Um, yeah, just a word about it. And I, I think what you just mentioned is is so interesting because even still, we can't get to the bottom of what is the click share in the shopping tab, for example, because it's it's muddled up with these all the other surfaces and. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know though. I feel a little validated though, Kirk. Thanks for sharing the three to to four percent number because I've seen people saying ten to fifteen percent, and maybe maybe it can happen, but um, it seems a little unrealistically high to me, and and I didn't think Google would make a decision like this if it were that high, um, but yeah, one one possibility I was talking about with my colleague um, Reinhard, um, we were talking about uh, another another method of this which you could just duplicate your feed and then you can um, serve it once to um, the surfaces with a distinct UTM parameter and then serve it once to everything else with a different UTM parameter. And this is potentially more compatible with third-party tracking. Um, the, it's maybe somehow a little a little clumsy where you, where you have to duplicate your merchant, uh, excuse me, to duplicate your feed, you might not want to do that. Um, but it's an alternate approach, and I think there's a few blog articles out there um, at this point with some different options because the analytics commu um, community, these kind of tracking guys, are starting to weigh in as well. 